So in this video, we're going to clarify how you can use ZBrush for free and how to upgrade your account to the fully featured version of ZBrush for iPad. So if you just logged in and created a new account, you can access ZBrush for iPad right away and you have access to a ton of brushes, a ton of features such as Dynamesh, Sculptors Pro, you have ZRemesher, you have your subdivisions, obviously. Now, if you want to expand your experience from your free version to the fully featured ZBrush for iPad experience, you have this little button up here on the top right corner that says upgrade. Now, just to be clear, you can still use ZBrush for free regardless if you're subscribed or not. So let's say you subscribe for a month or you go through your trial period and you go back to your free, you can still access ZBrush for iPad and you can still sculpt. Now, obviously, if you want to keep that expanded version, fully featured version of ZBrush for iPad, you might want to upgrade. Now, if you want to check the differences between the free and the fully featured version of ZBrush for iPad, you can check out this page over here, which we linked in the description below, which will tell you what is contained within all the different versions of ZBrush from the ZBrush for iPad in the free version or the subscription version. And you can also check out the differences between ZBrush for iPad and desktop. Now, if you already have a ZBrush for desktop license or a Maxon One license, once you log into your account on ZBrush for iPad, you'll be faced with this little screen over here. That is because all the Maxon One and ZBrush for desktop licenses also include ZBrush for iPad. So once you log in, you can activate your license from over here, but let's just skip this for now. And you are also faced with this little warning on the top, which means that you can click that and activate your license. Alternatively, you can access your login information over here and click activate license. Thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to see what you come up with on ZBrush for iPad, and I'll see you in the next one.